Hey beauties, it's Viviana and today I want to do a mohawk. In my almost two years of being natural, I've never done a simple sleet up mohawk. I've done a styled mohawk once before where I had the sides in elastic cornrows going up. It was really cute. But I mean, are you even natural if you haven't done a puff or a mohawk? Or it's a correct term, faux hawk. Frohawk! In my head, I have two different variations, but let's see how this turns out. And if this is like your third, fourth, fifth video of mine you've watched, you'll clearly see something you like here, so might as well subscribe. So I'm starting on a wash and go. I've had this wash and go for the past four days and I mean, this is not really that bad, really. I could even wear it down still. So the first thing I'm gonna do is moisturize my hair with my As I Am Leave-In Conditioner, cause my head dry. <laughs> I'm just gonna make two parts going straight back. All right, the comb goes as far as it can go, and then I'm gonna use my fingers to separate. And let's just put this up out of the way for a little bit. So I don't know if I'm going to need these parts as yet, but because I want the first look to have some bangs, and I just can't imagine my hair just forming bangs just like that. I, I am making those parts, but we'll see if later down we actually needed those parts. Just work with it for now. So now I'm going to spray the sides with some water just to get the hair a little more flexible and easier to work with. And then we're going to apply our gel to sleep the hair down. Then we're going with our powder brush and smooth it out. And now with the soft bristle brush. Let's make sure the part is nice and visible. It's so smooth, even my small tooth comb could easily go through right here. And this is just to prevent the hair from looking lumpy and bumpy where we want it smooth and sleek. <laughs> so now that that's done, I'm going to pin the hair back with my jumbo bobby pin. So I'm going to pull it far back, almost to the middle of my head and pin it in. Okay. Alright, so that first one is in, now we're just going to go down the line. And with this last one, I'm turning the pin up. Hmm, okay. So I've used a total of five pins on this side, so let's do the same thing to the other side. The bottle leaking and wetting me up, gosh. A mohawk <laughs> um, and now with the front of my hair we're going to let it loose like this and we're done okay we're joking <laughs> but I do want to see how this style will look with bangs but clearly my hair has gotten too long for that so I'm going to just pin the hair back a little bit to create a full bang um, do I need to go this far back Hold on, let's, let's see. How far back you pin the hair, of course, depends on how long your hair is and the style that you're going for. Ah, I like this. Now I have this space right here between my bangs and the fluff of my 
frohawk where um, it looks like I could use some kind of accessory or something right here. So I actually went and looked for an accessory I could have added right here in the middle, but I just can't find anything that would go with this hairstyle. <laughs> so we're just gonna leave it like this, okay? We're just gonna leave it like this. What do you think? So I just finished pinning up the sides right here. So it have a little more height. So yeah. What do you think? So we're gonna move on to the second variation of this look in case you're not into bangs. So I separated about two to three inches from my bang and now I'm going to make a pompadour. So with this section, I'm just going to guide the hair going back, ensure the hair is nice and comfortable going back and then I'm going to roll the ends under. And when I'm rolling, I'm just pulling the hair back, pulling it back and I'm smoothing down the sides as well. Then I'm going to pin it down with my jumbo bobby pin. So now that's pretty much done, but let's see if we can accentuate the part a little more by smoothing down our baby hairs and yeah, we might tie it down, but just a little bit. Alright, right, so how are we looking? You like it? Let me know down in the comment section which one is your favorite. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If this is also your first time on my channel, be sure to check out the iCards. I'll have some videos up there so you can get familiar with this channel and what we do here. And if you like what you see, you can subscribe. Or if this is the first video of mine you've ever watched and you're already in love, you're welcome to subscribe. Okay, beauties, thanks again for watching. Later! Mwah. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. Oh, yes! <laughs> However, I have a few tips and tricks that might help you out. Plus, this cute little accessory that I show you how to do. I mean, psh, might as well watch to the end. I know, I meant originally to keep this tutorial really simple. I was just going to take the front and twirl it go back with each of them. But... I just came up with something else.